anybody could be a member of the cult here. I have my suspicions on Cleon, though, and he's not here, as far as I know. And even Aspasia, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I mean, yeah, I've met him before. I know what he looks like. Thank you, Phoebe. Cassandra! Hi! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Excuse me? I want to stand up for Phoebe. She stood up for me. He won't like me telling him what to do. Um, also, I suppose I'm just straight to the point. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. They're not for me either, and I'm still here. You're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as I silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> I have something to tell him? I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? I mean, I figured. Anaxagoras from what? understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Hmm. What about Phidias? Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. I suppose so. Whatever, let's keep the conversation going. Why send him a Diochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. He could just be a really good liar, but I think... I think he's genuinely trying to help, and Cleon is probably either a cultist or working with the cult. And, uh, he's trying to undermine him. Because right now, it looks like Cleon has more of the public's favor than Pericles does. I think the cult has something to do with that. This guy genuinely seems to care about his friends and the people and stuff. And there's something in his way. But I don't know! We'll see how the story progresses. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Erodos was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. They should. I have my life threatened by far worse people every No, day. you haven't. <laughs> My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. You fear for the future of democracy, is what you're trying to say. You should definitely take it seriously. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. The most... Listen to her, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. No. I'm related to one of the cult members and I believe him when he says they're coming after you sound counsel to consider I'll be sure to let my men know regardless Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long we're having Tell a Aspasia, chat here I'll be right there I suppose this is where our conversation ends thank you again for helping me no problem I hope my guests are able to help you in your search they already have Time will tell. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> we'll see which of the information fa pans out, but... Okay, I'm just fucking leaving. What's gonna happen as soon as I get away from all these crowds, eh? I'm suspicious of everybody. I seriously feel like I'm in King's Landing. Like, we're all liars here. Give me my clothes and my weapons and my armor, please! Only of conversation. Socializing is exhausting. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need the weapon after all. 
Are you leaving? Uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. Is it? What are you going to do now? As an introvert, it doesn't sound nice. <sighs> I don't feel like following the Corinthia lead. I don't feel like that would help me at all. Now watch her actually be in Corinthia. <laughs> but <sighs> either the, 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 the woman, Xenia, or... I don't- this sounded pretty legit. I got this from a drunk man, I got this guy from a lustful weirdo, and this one I got from the wife of the man I'm not 100% sure I can trust yet. <laughs> so like, I don't know. Um, and she literally really was just like, yeah, you killed a bunch of Athenians in Megaris and I had to clean up after you, but I, here, I'll give you the information you want out of the goodness of my heart. Could be a trap. I want to go to Argolis. There is a physician in Argolis that may be able to help me. You're sick? You've never been sick. No, no, no. No, no, like no I'm fine. I just need to talk to him. Okay, good. It would be weird if you were sick. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What, what is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Oh, no. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened, okay? Okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. It's like we're going back to Kefalonia anyway. Is that a side quest or is that actually a campaign quest? Wow, I was there all goddamn night. Okay. <laughs> Not going to beg to come along this time? Hey, no. Trevi! I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. Oh, God. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. That went all too well. Bye, Cassandra! Bye-bye. Please survive to the end of the game, kid. Please. I got a clue to a cultist. I'm gonna look at that right now, actually. All this new stuff, bruh. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'm looking at here. <laughs> okay. Ah, freaking, I should just go to the quest menu now. So what am I doing now? That's Corinthia. This is Chaos, and this is... Argolis. I told, I told Phoebe I was gonna go to Argolis first, so I'm gonna do it. Northeastern part of the city of Argos. Where is Argos? Here it is. Okay, northeastern part, up here somewhere. South of the Bloody Oracle. Okay, so it's probably over in this area somewhere. All right, let's head over there right now. I love my new phone. It's so nice. Okay, call to Icarus. Where is my target? That's Hippocrates' clinic. All right, go in there. Flip! I love that. It's so cool. Oh my goodness, there's so many people here. What the hell is going on? I mean, probably all sick. Oh god, someone's not happy. What happened? Look, you insignificant peon. Tell me where he is, or by Ira, I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. Jesus. I already told you what I know. So I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to Crisis. ensure public order. Seems like a good name for you. himself before the gods and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patients. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, There's well, I can help with here. perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. Chill the fuck out. No need to antagonize the situation. I'm sure there's no need for raised voices. Who are you? I'm looking for a man named Hippocrates. Yet another crazed follower of the madman himself. Well, dang. Tell your impious master that unless he makes a public apology and soon, this priestess of Ira will gather an army of faithful and shut him down. 
Impious, huh? Out of my way. Hippocrates doesn't believe. Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. <laughs> I thought she was going to kill me this time. What's going on? I am Sostratos. Crisis has accused my master Hippocrates of impiety. I, I caught that Is word. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. That ain't a bad thing. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. Well, where is he? I need to meet Hippocrates. Is he in Argolis, at least? Yes, but he's gone southeast of Hera's watch to help the sick and injured. Okay. I mean, I know where this is, but... Is this his workshop? It's Hippocrates' clinic. Here we study healing, offer treatments, and provide care to anyone who asks. Why not work with the priests in the sanctuary of Asclepios? It's what this region is known for, right? The priests try their best, but their methods are stuck in the past. Hippocrates is researching new cures and treatments. Okay. I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Yeah. Depends what it is. Doing everybody's work again. I want you to again. bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. Right, question. Sure. I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? Mm, I've got enough to rock me. I'll be sure he gets the equipment. You have my thanks. You've been nice. How will I know when I've found Hippocrates? Follow the road southeast of Hera's watch to the cave of Pan. He won't have set up far from it. I think it. I've been there. Look for a long line of sick people. <laughs> He's a uh, balding, but I wouldn't mention that if I were you. <laughs> Okay, I think I've been to the cave of Pan before. Let me see. Get that out of here first. Oops. Uh. Oh wait, I took some pictures. Yeah, I took some pictures. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I've definitely been there. I am going to fast travel again. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, this whole thing about how like you have to believe in the gods, otherwise we hate you. Stupid. What? Oh, wait. No, okay, that's for eating, right? If your fingers are greasy or sticky or whatever from what you've been eating, you wipe your fingers on bread and give it to the dogs. I was thinking of something a lot more nasty. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, hello, Hippocrates. Oh, my goodness, there is a long line of sick people here. Perhaps he needs some assistance. So, what has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. He but since pneumonia? other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. You must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also very He's busy. He's definitely balding. <laughs> I won't take long. This will only take a moment. I won't keep you away from your patients and your students. Observation, experience, and experimentation are crucial for treatment. My followers are learning that. Yes, they are. I've come from your clinic in Argos. Sostratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. Sostratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? No. No. I knew this would help you and your patients. That's good enough for me. Quite admirable. What did you say your name was? I didn't. Cassandra of Sparta. Well met, Cassandra of Sparta. What do you need? Uh, I mean, I need his help searching for a woman. <laughs> like, I think both of these are... Ah, right to the point. I've been searching for a Spartan woman. What makes you think I would know her? I was told you may have helped her a long time ago. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who pass through. Oh, okay. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. All right, Sorry, all right, all right. This patient doesn't have much time left. The second most common currency in ancient Greece. 
most common being Drachmi. Second most common, freaking favors. Said not to mention your balding. <laughs> uh. She would have come here a long time ago with an injured baby. Are you sure she would have passed through the sanctuary of Asclepios? Wait. I was a young man then. When I encountered a situation beyond my skills, I would send the patient to the sanctuary. And these priests keep records of their patients? Yes, engraved in stone. The elder priest might remember. So... Okay, she came through with an injured baby. That's, that's Alexios. Obviously. How did he end up in the hands of the cult while she got away? Where should I look for your notes? Fort Tyrins, not far from here. Oh, and a fort. still return them if you ask. Well. Or they could prepare for a new battle. With me. Far be it for me to <sighs> tell Amistios how to work, but please, for my sake, do not kill needlessly. Enough blood has been shed in this war. Well, all right. I know what they're about. Diseases of the mind, you told me. I'll go. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you. Hashtag no pressure. Okay. Uh, I need the next quest, please. Where's the fort? God. Okay, fine. I was hoping it'd pop up on screen, but apparently it doesn't want to do that, so. Uh, the notes are up here. Right? And the center of the valley They're not too far. Um, I think I'm gonna go for the Valley of Dreams first. A, because there's a viewpoint right here. And also, I can go do that, then do this, and then head back up there. Ooh, what are they building here? He's over there. Is that not a side quest? I need to talk to him. There he is. Three, oh, they're priests. Right, that's the thing I'm doing now. Not the notes. Got it. Okay. He's closest. Well, technically that guy's closest, but now this guy's closest, so I'm gonna go talk to him first. Hello, Mr. Priest, sir. Have a moment. Is that a grave you're messing with there? Hope not. Yeah, pardon me. Greetings, <clears throat> young one. Come to offer us Clipios a sacrifice? Um, of no. what? But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. Well, what are try. these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. They look like gravestones. And I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. What's your, what's your deal? I can't with the threatening. I don't want to threaten him. I'm not gonna threaten him. He hasn't been mean or anything. Listen, I am not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for my mother. It's Chrysis. She's got every priest in the sanctuary under her thumb. Oh, that bitch? And she'll squash anyone who feeds information to the eagle bearer. Then don't tell me anything. Just bring me to the stone that can. How the Follow fuck does she know who I am? Quickly. We must be discreet. Lead the way. Oh, I think Crisis is a freaking cultist. This way, over here. I think everybody's a cultist at this point. But... Watching. They'll have my head. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bearer. Oh, Crisis is totally going down. <sighs> Look, I'm not doing that quest right now. I'm busy. Is this it? Ah, I remember this tale. Written during the time of the great Elod Revolt. 
you would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Ew. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Yeah, I'm sure that's Definitely exactly how you did it. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these treatments. You probably call them barbaric. Hippocrates is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Okay, hold on. Why do I not have this marked as a quest? Introduce Cassandra to those who spoke. This is a support quest for this Odyssey quest. Oh, whatever. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands and not enough. In I would the say gods. that the problem is reversing that. When it comes that. to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thukydides, Evripides, the petulant Aristophanes. Yeah, I talked to a couple of those guys. For realism. But what really inspires is greatness, magic, God. Talk more like an old man, please. This one tells the tale of a man with sword wounds. Looking for a woman, not a man. Two dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. That's bullshit. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope to do better. Well, I'm losing mine. I mean, Tell me about stories that give people hope is no problem, but when you start passing it off as truth, that's the problem. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests, taught the ways of the gods. She learned uh, very quickly, it was very strong-willed, and uh, before too long, it was the priests who listened to her. She was loved, but there's an anger in her heart that could not be soothed, so... When her methods turned to madness, anyone who opposed her got, um... Got what? I've already said too much. Killed. And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads... Wait, can you not read? ...of Sparta. Came here with child. Sought pity from the gods. Sounds Why good. is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her troubles. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. But the child could not be saved. Bullshit, he's alive. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently? Yeah, some paranoid types hanging around here, don't you? I mean, that's pretty plausible for a Mistios, don't you think? The good priest here was teaching me how to heal sword wounds. Um, yes, sword wounds. Oh, really? God, you could be a better and liar. What is the treatment for sword wounds according to Timoxenos here? Uh, dogs. Dogs. What about them? You use dogs to lick the wounds clean. Very good. I was listening! Don't give away all our <laughs> tricks, Timoxenos. Who will bring offerings to the gods when our patients learn to heal themselves? Yeah, great. That's awesome. <laughs> no, no, ah, when the, when the, when no. the betterment of your patients no. isn't your top priority, you have no business have being a healer of any kind. You have your treatment, Mistios. Now please, leave the sanctuary. Okay! See, I pay attention. That's the thing with being an introvert. You're more of an observer than a participant. <laughs> At least in my case. I'm gonna go talk to this priest now, sorry! Hey! I only got 20 minutes before I gotta stop. So maybe we'll do this and then I'll call it quits. Because we've done three hours of Odyssey today. Purification bath, you'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. 
In that case, you can go straight to Hades. Wow. I need to know Fuck about a Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that eagle of yours shit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries. Especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. She's definitely. Croesus is definitely a cultist. You know something. I never mentioned the baby. Think you're so smart? Many women pass through with babies. Now leave me. <laughs> okay. I have my own problems to deal with. Maybe I can help you. Snakes! What? Snakes. They're everywhere. Must have escaped from the Tholos. Wow, he just we trusted me immediately after I said I know. The, the snakes killed someone. A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. Now the snakes have made <sighs> okay. him their home. I'm sure that's what exactly what happened. What if I took happened. care of your snake problem? You probably bit him. Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. No problem. I have dealt with snakes before. Um. Uh, I'll clear out these snakes in no time. Icarus could use a good feast. Try not to kill them. Dorios will be furious if you sacred snakes get chopped to be. Oh, well, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to deal with them? Snakes are drawn to the bath's heat. Flood them with cold water, and they'll slither back to their hole. There's an underground pipe that may help you. Okay. I don't really fucking care. The bathhouse is sacred and crucial for the healing process. The snakes come from some guy who doesn't want him killed. I don't care. I'll take care of your snake problem. Then, you'll tell me what I need to know. That old priest, hiding by the tree. Oh, hi. Is that the one who said that he wanted to meet me? with the snakes. I'll go ahead and mark that real quick. Oh, okay. God. I can either kill them one by one Woo! or flood them with cold water. He doesn't want me... How do I flood with cold water? The underground pipe connects to a water source. Okay, well, the lake is over by that other guy, so maybe I'll just head that way. Where is it? Icarus, help me! Wait, is that it? Aha! That's the pipe. Opening it should flood the bath and get rid of the snakes. Okay. Easy enough. You can you can stand up now. Did I do that? Is that a thing I did? Okay, apparently I did it. Okay, I'm gonna go back and talk to Pilanor now. Sounds an awful lot like Elpinor. Hello, I took care of your problem the way you wanted to as well because I am ow a good person that follows extra instructions and Is the bathhouse free of snakes? You're good. I flooded the bathhouse with cold water Good riddance. That was literally really easy. Well, you could have totally done it. But well, what? I took care of the snakes Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I Actually don't know anything was before my time. The man who does know is Mithun, but he won't tell you. He won't tell cool. anyone anything. <laughs> I want to punch you in the fucking nose, dude. <laughs> okay. All right, go fuck yourself. All right. Well, but he did give me a name. At least I got a name. It wasn't a total loss. Mithun. Mithun. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I feel like I should call it quits just in case the one of these things takes too long and I have to stop in the middle and it'll be annoying and all that crap. So yeah, I think I'm going to call it quits right here. We'll pick this up later, probably maybe next weekend. Um, wait, can I do it next weekend? I'm really totally certain I can do it next weekend. I can definitely do it next weekend. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to pick this up next weekend. Um, and we'll finish this up and probably end up killing Croesus because she's definitely a member of the cult. Like, I mean, come on. If she's not, I will be shocked. But, yeah, we'll pick this up another time. We're going to go talk to this guy by the lake and do other things with these priests and get the notes. And, oh my god, this is like a giant, giant level. But we'll take care of it. We'll take care of it.